Well, when we came back, when we came back to Brandy, well, obviously we won all up. Um, and again, the guys got tremendous uh, confidence from going to their backyard in front of 50,000 seater stadium and getting a result. Um, the Brandy, well, no matter who comes to it, is a, a, a very difficult place. The atmosphere is fantastic. Um, we knew that if we could get back to the Brandy, well, and could play to the level that the team was capable of playing, that we could we could go through to the next round. Um, Obviously, there was a few comments made beforehand, and I think Gothenburg looked down her nose a wee bit at, at us. Uh, obviously, being a part, uh, uh, coming from a, a country that just left part-time football, um, but the guys at Derry City were very, very professional in their approach again, and uh, there was another belief and a confidence that we could progress to the next round. And I think that night, the supporters that night, it was one of the nights that obviously will stand out with me in a long time, for a long time. Um, the support that night was just so helpful to the team getting a result that I think once we went out for the warm-up and we seen the reaction of the crowd and the influence the crowd were going to have, um, we, knew, we knew when we came back on it after the warm-up that we would get a result that night. Can you tell me now your memories of Gretna, the Gretna, the 5-1? Gretna, uh, the first game, Gretna away. Again, a couple of nights before in the hotel, we watched, we watched a lot of games of Gretna. We watched their semi-final against Dundee and we watched their final against Hearts in the Scottish Cup last year. Uh, obviously Stephen had been over to see them play in Hamilton uh, in a league game, it was their first league game where they won 6-1. So we'd done quite a bit of homework on Gretna. Um, we knew they were a good side. Uh, we knew obviously going to Mullerwell, we trained the night before in the ground. It was a nice ground and uh, the pitch was very good. It, it, was, it, it set up for nice, a nice style of play. Uh, I think again maybe the first 10-15 minutes we found, out, we, we found out a wee bit tight. We were maybe a wee bit nervous. Um, took a wee while to get going. Obviously the goal they scored was a bit of a setback, um, but then going on at half time again, the, the, the belief that the squad of players that, that we had last season, um, the belief that those squad of players and young players had, that team was never beaten. Um, they, they, they never accepted defeat, obviously with some of the games that came on later on in the season it, was, it, it came to fruition, but um, the character that those boys uh, experienced and younger players showing, we were never beaten, so going on at 1-0 we still knew obviously we, we could go out and do better, but the second half was shooting under that end with the supporters, the dairy support again, so many people behind the goal. And, uh, the second half was just it was absolutely amazing. Um, some of the football we played, the standard of the goals that were scored, it was just it was just one of them nights where it was it, it's hard to explain because um, the standard of the goals, Kevin Derry's two finishes, Kieran Martin's two finishes, the, the Darren's header obviously uh, uh, in the first half. Um, you know, it was it was a magical night, magical night. I remember after the game, I was speaking to a couple of the Mullerwell Church, and they said no matter they'd been there a long time, and they said that uh, Celtic and Rangers and Hearts and Aberdeen come there on a regular basis twice a year, and he says they never heard atmosphere like the atmosphere that their supporters produced that night. Um, and I think the atmosphere the supporters generated went a long way towards uh, the standard of play on the pitch in the second half, which to me was. Unbelievable. It was very, very good. It's great stuff there, especially with the images, you know. Um, it's kind of